All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 79 of Mog Monday, the show where we play goblins every single Monday. And today, we're playing a little popper. Popper, of course, is the format where you can only play commons, most commonly played on Magic the Gathering Online. And this is a new popper deck. Popper doesn't change that much. Popper's like the like the vintage or legacy of commons you know it's so many cards are legal that it's not it's not common that there's a, a new addition to the format really but there is one now in first day of class and this is a deck that curb curb took to third place of the pauper challenge uh yesterday or saturday two days ago this weekend and it's based around the card first day of class two mana instant Learn from a new Strixhaven set. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it, and it gains haste until end of turn. You may also learn, which is not nearly as important. So this gives us an element of the persist combo into Popper. So of course, plus one plus one counters. A card like Future Goblin that has persist. Um, whenever it dies, it would come back with a minus one minus one counter on it, and then it wouldn't come back again if it has a minus one minus one counter on it. Well, plus one, plus one counters and minus one, minus, minus one counters, they obliterate each other. So they, plus one, plus one, minus, minus one, they both go away. So with a first day of class being cast, you can sacrifice Petra Goblin an infinite number of times. You see, we've seen this combo before with Grumgully and Anafenza and other cards. Uh, well, now first day of class brings it to Popper. And that means that with infinite sacrifices, you can make infinite mana with Scare Prospector. We can make infinitely large creatures with Mog Raider and Goblin Sledder. And we can use Hissing a Guanar to deal our opponent lethal damage as well. And um, that's called sort of built into this. We can, you know, be a little aggressive here. Mostly a combo goblin deck here. We've got a lot of card draw here in Nice Whisper and Faithless Living. And we've got Unearth to get our cards back. Of course, Goblin Matron is a tutor. It's going to bring it all together. No way to directly find first day of class aside from just drawing it. But again, we can also just like attack and stuff too, which is kind of sweet as well. So Bounce Lands here. Um, I don't play much Popper, full disclosure. This is going to be an interesting one for sure. Only lesson in the sideboard to learn is Introduction to Prophecy. A little bit of card draw. If you cast this card, you should probably be winning the game uh, that turn. So, Mod Monday, Popper time. But first, we work from our sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Mod Monday. We're also brought to you by Coalist Apparel. Coalist Apparel at shop. Promo code JIM10. 10% off your order. Great shirts. Super comfortable. The Cobb is a good one. Uh, super comfortable. Super fun shirts. Uh, tons of designs now. Honestly... Even if you have no plans to buy a shirt, just go to Colas Apparel Shop and look at the shirts. But the designs are really, really fun. Very, very enjoyable. Check it out. Colas Apparel Shop, promo code Jim 10, 10% off your order. And super, uh, super high quality as well. Super comfortable. Obviously, you see me wearing them all the time. And uh, they're great. Check it out. Colas Apparel Shop. I don't know how long the queue times are here in Popper. I'm not going to lie. Um, I haven't played Popper in a long time. So we'll... Uh, We'll see how this one goes. We'll just knock off all the sponsors right now. Also brought to you by B7Supplies.com. Promo code Jim10 as well. Best sleeves in the market. Not close to the Elite 2 deck card sleeves. Best binders, uh, card boxes, binders, storage displays, deck boxes. You name it. They got it all. B7Supplies.com. Give them check, check them out. And, uh, of course, promo code is great. Great prices, too. You can get a five-pack of the sleeves for, like, less than $7 a pack with the promo code. Real, real good. B7Supplies.com. All right, let's go. Let's go here. We got a match, round number one, Popper Goblins. Let's see what we can do with this Popper Goblin deck. What's up, Xenomorph? It's Alien Day? What is what does that mean? What is What does that mean? That scares me. Let's go. Alright, so no lamb mulligan, sure. Let's get Impulsive Pilfered. Right, so we have a Rakdos Carnarium. Land. This is pretty good. We can keep this. And uh, let's see. We're on the draw. Um, maybe I should the looting. 
We're already down a card. It's a ship looting. The first two movies take place on LV426. Ugh. Xenomorph, you would know that. Alright, so Arbor Elf. I believe there's like an Arbor Elf Utopia Sprawl kind of deck in this format, but again, I don't really know much about the format, so. Play Ash Baron, say go. Kind of a slow hand here. We didn't draw a land that produces red. So we got a Carnarium, the Ash Baron's back. Alright, untap some lands. Land of War Visionary. Man, if they're playing Land Destruction, we are super dead. Uh, mountain? Okay. Like, they're playing, like, Acid Moss in their deck. Maybe we just play Land War Marshal, actually. Yeah. We also have this uh, Impulsive Pilferer. Kind of a cool card. Uh, whenever it dies, you get a treasure. Kind of cool. Cool little one one We'll also be issuing our Mog Monday Challenge today. Mog Monday Challenge for the Mog Monday Showdown for next week, first Monday of the month. All right, there's your Acid Moss. So you're, we wised up for not playing our... Uh, oh my god, they have so much mana. Not playing our, uh, our Bounce Land, but we are way behind here. Knight's Whisper. Oh my god. Alright, so we're going to float a mana. Carnarium. Bounce this. We're going to cycle for a mountain. And hope to god that we've got another, another, another land destruction effect. Please don't hurt my lands. Five. They have seven mana. They have like the big cascade. This starts just turn four. This must be Popper. This will be a weak format. What's going on here? Boarding party. 6-3 haste cascade. Cascades into an arbor elf. Alright, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Um, got a six ball coming in here. We're gonna block this one. And we can start casting nice whispers and stuff and try and find our combo. Matron? Okay. Um, let's cast a nice whisper. There's first day of class, and now it's Prospector. Unless you know what's what's out, what's Pilfer. Maybe we'll block this with Pilfer. We'll see what they do. We got some mana next turn. Maybe they might be able to go off next turn, honestly. With Prospector and Pilfer. Just like don't stone ray me, you know. I don't know if this deck plays removal or not. Um So next turn's like first day of class, prospector, sack, 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 matron. Yeah, I think they're dead, honestly. I'll say if they can't kill a landy or something, they're dead. Oh my god. Please don't. Please don't. No, L no, I hit an LD spell. No. Alright, well now now we're now we're in big doo doo. I think if we draw Putra Goblin exactly, well, well, we can win this turn, but 6 and 6 is 12. I mean, you know, you know our mana, so. Brutal. Brutal. How's that my first shot? Didn't really affect me much, honestly. Unearth. If we had a Black Source, this would be like a Dark Ritual with the, uh, the Mog War Marshal, but. Oh, I have a Black Source, a Pilfer. We might have a chance here, folks. Maybe. Um. The problem is we can't make enough. Oh boy. Um, okay. So. The problem is we can't cast Putrid Goblin. Because we only have one black with our thingy. If we play Prospector. We'll have one, two, three, four, five mana. We can't play class and matron and pro and and thingy. Can I just make some blockers this turn and survive? I need to block two. I need to make two jump blocks this turn. I could just like that doesn't really like unearth the the war marshal that requires stacking this thing though, which is really bad for us. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Make it black. Get sack this for red. Get war marshal. Sack war marshal and something else in a land matron. I need to make two blocks. Maybe we draw black stars to go in. Their deck seems really good. All their cards are just so freaking good. Um, all right, I'll just try try and do some stuff here. I guess. Make a red. So if I were to first. Okay, we'll close. Two, three, four, five, matron. Yeah, we're like, we're like, we're actually like really, really close. Um, we're just bottlenecked on black. What if I were to get back the pilfer? So like, unearth pilfer, sack it again. Then I would have two red, a black. It's two, three, four, five. I think we actually might have it. Um. Sack this, get back Pilfer, that, that generates one mana. Then I need to cast first day of class, Matron, sack all my stuff, play the thing, and then play Iguanar. Oh man, I'm sorry folks, for a lot of math here, a lot of math. So we, I'm just going to try and do it, because we're just going to lose if we don't get our turn anyway. So get this back, sack this again for red. And now we have uh, first day of class. Oh uh, no, we, we, uh, we can't, we're a mana short. Yeah, we're a mana short. Uh, two in the pool. Block, block. Yeah, that was not good. Uh, all right, so block, block, untap. First day we draw a black source. All right, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, we're probably just gonna die next turn, but let's get Matron, let's go over the combo for next two. Iguanar, draw two. No, we gotta play this. They have three cards in hand still. I think the biggest hope is they just play like a huge creature and they uh, cascade into a line or off or whatever. All right, so we'll just do this and say go. We win next turn if we can survive, but... Oh, we're actually at six, though. They just literally attack with everything and then this has to block, too. Yeah. I mean, our hand was pretty slow, unfortunately, and they did, they did kill a bounce land with a stone rain, so... All right, yeah, we're dead. All right, tough first game, tough first game. Bounce land got mega punished. Um, what do we got against them? What do we got against them? Sparksmith. Uh, can't board out the bounce lands. They can have like magma spray and stuff too. Um, Sparksmith's like kind of cool. Like I don't know how much removal they have. I think reaping's way too slow. Like we're not we're not we're we're, we're not bottlenecked on cards. We're bottlenecked on mana. So we shave like I have no idea. The whacker seems kind of. Eh. I'm also concerned with like some sort of some kind of graveyard hate maybe. Let me just bring a sparksmith or two. Sparksmith, this is pretty good, you know. They can't remove it. You can kill most of their stuff. Cut a whacker and. That is true, you can't loot with the learn. I, I didn't consider that. I could have first day of class trying to look for a land. That's fair. That's fair. First game of the deck, you know. I'm gonna shave an unearth just in case they have like some sort of graveyard hate. Just like hedge a little bit against that. Let's try this. Bounce land. Bounce land against the the LD deck is not uh not super great. Alright, this is a pretty good end. Let me keep this. Keep this. Freaking love my war marshal. Staple here on Mog Monday. All right, opponent keeps seven. A little popper. Duress. The they don't have that many stone rains though, unfortunately. Vex, you're for your you get your deck tech, right? I got you today. I got you. Matron. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna attack. Play Marshall and say go. Now you have like a good amount of mana in play at least. We could like 
sacking goblin and looting also. Although our hand's like pretty good, honestly, so I don't think I want to do that. What's up, Deb? Visionary, sure. Um, can I win this turn? This is an instant too? Oh my god, that's great. Um, uh, I think we can win this turn. Right, so we have sack this and cast it. And then we have one, two, three. Uh, this this Carnarium screws us up, I think. I can learn, I can rummage. Um... Do we go for it? Eh, let's just go for it. It's Mog Monday. Uh, no. I'm not going to pay for that. We are going to... First day of class on our on our upkeep. And we're going to rummage away the... Uh, the Carnarium, I think. We should need to draw an untapped land, or that Goblin Mix Treasure, or Mog War Marshal, or Unearth. So, a lot of cards, a lot of a lot of hits here. First day of class, and we're gonna rummage. Like less a card to put into your hand, or discard a card to draw a card. Discard the Carnarium. That's an unearth. Okay, but now we need a now we need black too though. Mog Raider. Okay, well we have a lot of mana and we have looting, so that's also good. Um, Zeno War reset. Thanks so much. Celebrating Alien Day with a resub. Sack for red, sack for red. Yeah, we need to. I get like looting here. I'm sorry, folks. This is a lot of, a lot of math here. A lot of math. Um. All right, let's start with the on Earth. On Earth, targeting Mar Mar Marshall. 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 And then we're going to sack. <laughs> That's hasty. It's funny. Sack this. A red. We got looting. There's no red mana here. There's no, I mean, no black mana here. Can I just bushwhacker and kill them? I think I boarded the bushwhacker out, didn't I? I did. I did. Um, discard this. The Sparksmith has haste, which is kind of gas, honestly. Maybe we just, like, go for some value this turn, you know? Sparksmith attack. I kind of like that, actually. Just forget it. I'll just go. Um, sack for red. Sack for red. Sparksmith. Give it haste. Kill this. I'll just go. Plan B. Plan B. And they have, like, electric rear. So I'm going to kill one ones. We have, like, a pretty good uh, thing going here. Not exactly the combo we were looking for. We were, we were, we were one land draw off of winning. But, Visionary again? Yeah, whatever. Freaking, it's like an Onslaught draft. Sparks was here to kill all your stuff. Kill that. Raider. And, uh... Play the land? Yeah, just play the land. Plan B. A.K.A. The Beatdown Plan. Keep untapping land, sure. Is there a pyroclasm in this? Electricery? So, that's not bad because we, we have two twos. So, we target this. Do I want to keep my prospector or my, my raider? I just want to keep the raider, honestly. There's a nine. Like, I'll say I have two electriceries. Oh my god. The humanity. Alright, so we save Sparksmith. And save a goblin. So really not like the worst. Because now we get to kill their, their mana creature and draw a good spell here. That's a good spell. That's a good spell. That's a good spell. It's not a goblin, but it's a good spell. Kill that. Ding you for one. Iguanar. Oh, yeah. Okay. Woo. Blouses. Let's go. Build your own pyroclasm. Not good enough against us. All right. So the goblin slider seem really important against the... Uh, the electric reaction. Now we're on the draw, though. So I feel like Sparksmith's a lot worse in the draw. So maybe we'll bring in our own electricaries. I don't know how many creatures, though. 
I'm gonna leave the put the, the unearth back in. I'm just gonna shave a sparksmith. Electric ray is really good against us. Uh, yeah, this is fine, I guess. Bring back the bushwhacker. I don't think so. Now we're on the draw. It's like much slower, you know. Like we'll see. All right, Ash Barons Mountain. We actually have looting and unearth, which is kind of cool. Uh, we can keep this. Yeah, pilfer. No Moxis. No Popper today. Utopia Sprawl. All right, no Elf this time. All right, so we're going to lead off on... Pilfer or looting? Probably looting, because if I if they kill my land, we're just, like, screwed, so... Let's start by looting. Oh my god, we didn't draw any lands. Come on, what are you doing to me? Discard Putrid Goblin and... Maybe Matron, because we already have our combo pieces now. Alright, please don't thermocost me or stone rain me. <sighs> you could just like draw land, you know, that'd be cool, I guess. No, she can't draw land. Uh, nothing? I mean, sure. All right, well, pretty lame. Uh, not a very fun game, of course. Um, I think our keep was fine. We just didn't loot into any lands or draw any other lands, so can't imagine their hand's not a million Cascade creatures, so we're just going to die really, really fast here. No? There must be literally all six and seven mana cascade creatures. Well, it is a land. Uh, it is a land. All right, float of mana, Carnarium. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh, I'm gonna cycle us for a mountain. All right, what's up, cornflakes? Cornflake wins. Let's go, my friend. Discard this nice whisper. Okay. Uh, opponent isn't doing anything. Opponent isn't doing anything. We also don't have first day of school yet, which is like fine. Maybe we just cast Peter Goblin and put in Pilferer. They probably, I'm sure that they definitely have electric like, It's like not even like a, a, a question. Um, like what? Like what cards do they possibly have in their hand right now? They aren't casting, you know. Bolt, somewhat likely to. So they might like bolt the Peter Goblin here and then electricery. Just fine, honestly. Yeah, sure, whatever. Favorite legacy deck beside goblins? I haven't played legacy really in a long time. Trickery, sure. But now you have treasure. Let's search for treasure. Oh, ten, so you have a letter. Five mana. Natural reclamation. Cascade. Disenchant? What? I didn't even know this card existed. What the hell card is this? What? Inconceivable! All right. I guess. Sarf's Packmate? Okay, sure. That's fine. I mean, if I draw a uh, oh, first day of school, there's dead here. First day of school. Nope. All right. Um... It just like... We're just on the edge of a knife here, because if they draw a single land destruction spell, we can never win. Um, it's 
Just need to draw first. Should we, like, should we, like, looting here? We do have, like, redundant pieces, which we don't really need. Like, an extra raider. We've got, like, a, a extra putrid god we don't really need. Just gonna looting, I think. Double swamp. Okay. So, we, uh... Discard a raider and do I want to unearth this turn? I don't think so. Putrid goblin. This is tough because, like. I kind of want to keep Peter Goblin because they have a bolt or something like that. We can try and maybe I want to keep the Marshal, the Prospector, and the Sledder. On Earth is also just really good. Discarding a land feels incredibly greedy, but eh, I'll just do it. Whatever. And we're not going to on Earth here. Um, we could save that for a, a better turn, I think. Try to our first day of school, you know? Because back in school. Ah, oh, crap. I drew land. All right, just hit, like, a non-LD spell, please. That's good. Visionary. All right. We draw first day of school, we win. Xavier, resub. One year. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Decent attack. That is not first day of school. Uh, okay. Let's, um... What does this card do? Exile this card from your graveyard. For each opponent, create a token... Copy that attacks that opponent is anal and they gain haste. So basically worthless. Sure. What's up, Borg? Marshall. I guess we'll just play Sledder. Yeah, we could unearth something here, but I don't think we want to. I mean, Marshall's going to block this thing. I'm just, like, pretty sure they have Electric Re, too. It's kind of bad for us. Play Caves. Uh, we could, like, unearth Putra Goblin, but... They have four cards. They just have so many cards. Should have our first day of school, you know? We just got to go back to school, folks. We just got to go back to school. Come on now. So now we have uh, some sacks for electricery. And big cascade. Arbor Elf, please. Arbor Elf. It was electricery. Not actually that bad because they can only cast it for one anyway. Could they have overloaded it with the uh, visionary? Maybe they could have. Maybe they could have. Um, we got to block this thing. It doesn't matter. Just target this, like this. Move that, do this. That comes in. We got to make some blocks here. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. At least this. Um, this is taking nine, 10, 11, 12. I mean, if they have land bolt, we're dead. But if they have bolt, we're dead anyway, I think. Uh, so I think this is fine. Let's keep the material in play for Prospector in case we draw. We gotta, we gotta draw out here, but... And I can still Nice Whisper, so sure. Alright. Kill me, opponent. Go to three. Alright. Here we go. We gotta go to school, folks. It's the first day of school. Our bags are packed. First day of school. Mountain. Uh, okay, we're dead. I guess we have blocks now, but we're, like, pretty dead. What's up, mage? Uh, Alright. I mean, now we're just... So this... Each opponent create a token copy that it's X. It's if, so this has to attack. I'm just get a treasure. It's not even good, so... Play Prospector and just say go. And I gotta make some blocks just not die. I mean, we'll hold this in our hand because we draw looting, but now we're, now we're just, like, super dead. So, unfortunately, 20 cards deep. No first day of schools. Uh... 
Bounce lands are interesting. I mean, they're good with like looting and stuff, but they are pretty vulnerable to uh, to LD. All right, so it's kind of a tough first match there. Um, you got LD'd out a little bit, uh, of course. Um, that game one, like, all right, it wasn't great game one um, for sure, but let's try it again. Try it again. First day of class. Opponent, don't do this to me. All right. I thought we had a fast queue time here. I was like really, really happy about it. Dawn Knight. I know I haven't been here for a long time, but I just wanted to say thank you for helping me get through the worst teaching year ever. Your content is great and it's streamers like you who encouraged me to give the whole streaming thing a try. Love ya, Jim. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's been a weird year. Been a weird year, but we're coming through it. We're coming through it. Super dude. Thanks, Teresa. I appreciate that. All right. I'm going to draw. Am I going to play Vintage Snoop Combo with Recruiter? I already have. I already have, folks. Folks, you got to be on your Mog Mondays, all right? The whole archive's on YouTube. We're on this episode 70. There's 78 other episodes all there. you got to go through them. We play everything. If it's Goblin-related, we've probably done it. we got to do 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 it! No worries. Well, Dawn Knight, it's going to get better next year, right? What's with our opponents today? We, we, we got to play or, or what? All right, let's go. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, land's not working out so well for us today. I should play goblins and no go goblins in the deck. I already did that one. It was Frog Monday. We did it all. Oh, come on. Somebody's playing a prank on me. <sighs> Uh, all right, I guess. I mean, keep this. Uh, we'll ship. <laughs> I don't even know. I guess a whisper, and like, I guess looting's pretty bad because you mulligan a million times. Sure. So we should draw a land for an ice whisper. I could even kept both. I just honestly. I feel that though, night. I feel that. I taught for a year, uh, like part time, and I did not like it. It was a private school, sixth graders. Little bastards. Little bastards. <laughs> Hope they're watching. They used to like stalk me online too. Like, it was the year I won the, or the year, either the year of the player championship or the year before, whatever. Back on my SG grinding days, like about five years ago. And they would like be like, So, how's Nicole doing? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, we, we stalked your Facebook. I'm like, You're, you're freaking in sixth grade. Leave me alone. You know, Rift Bolt. Okay. Um, sure, I guess. Uh, that's okay. All right. Uh, well, we show some lands, I guess. Knight's Nice Whisper. You know, <laughs> that wasn't a bad draw. As far as uh, things consider, real estate sounds a lot more profitable than uh, than teaching. A lot more profitable. Rift bolt me, sure. So, the mulligan to five on the draw against the burn deck is kind of scary. Oh, they, they, they kept a one-lander, though. They kept a one-lander. Okay. Uh, putrid Goblin. We have Unearth, too. We could, like, Whisper here. Um, obviously, Whispering, like, against the burn deck sucks, but we just need resources. Just whisper. Prospector whisper. Oh, come on. That's enough whispers. All right. No more whispering. Bolt me. Let's go. Come on now. Popper goblins. If y'all are standing, welcome to the stream. It's Mog Monday. Popper goblin time. If you haven't followed us with that follow button, of course, of course, on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. My YouTube folks. Opponent is deciding if they want to put their Rift Bolt onto the stack, which is great. Oh, look, they did it. They're targeting me. Clever. Clever. Don't draw land. Give us a chance to win this game. 
Porygon Z. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Thanks so much. Pawn, it must be double queuing. Which is the worst. Uh, I drew a land too. Tilt. Skewer the critics? Sure. It's not online poker, you know? Chain lightning? Yeah, I mean, we're just dead, obviously. They just have, they have, th they have three spells in their hand. We draw like... I don't even know what we can draw here. Marshall? Ugh. If we had that looting, we could probably win. Uh, but if this also if this was an untapped land, we can go like nah. So we still couldn't do it. I don't think we're just dead. What are you gonna do? We're just dead. Let's play uh, a putrid goblin and die. You're up, Jacob from Georgia. What's up, my friend? Maybe card is thought sees. Taking the cards. G2 Lava Runner? Uh, I mean, they hit Fire Blast is a common, right? A we'll block. Okay. Are you telling me there's a chance here? Oh my god. Are they still slow rolling me? How are you double queuing and you slow roll someone? What a freaking jerk. What a freaking jerk. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, bring our duresses probably. Night Whisper is just like gotta go, I guess. Uh, sort of Sparksmith. Might need to keep. Might just need to keep some of these in. Honestly, we just like need to like, like keep cards in our deck. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough one. I'm sure, they have electricery also. Bolt you indeed. Bolt you indeed. Alright. Um, okay. I mean, this is like, alright, I guess. These Carnariums have been a little suspect. Um, you know, I guess we played against land destruction and burn, but... So you go Sledder, and then we... Play Carnarium, I guess. Best draw would be another untapped land, I think. Probably a black. Who's pumped for Mog Monday Showdown next week? I'll be issuing my challenge later in the stream. Who's pumped? Who's pumped? Mog Monday Showdown, of course, the first Monday every month on Mog Monday. I challenge a fellow content creator who's known for a certain deck or archetype to uh, to a duel. And three matches, three formats. My my goblin decks versus their archetypes. A lot of fun so far. I played against CGB and his Yorians. We played against Puzzle Kenobi and his Death and Taxes. We played against Holy Diva and her Is It Spells. Um, and uh, who are we going to challenge this week? This month, I mean. Thanks, Don. I appreciate it. CWS? Who's CWS? I'm going to challenge Ross again to an arc life battle. Well, now that Faithless Looting's in his store, so I'm like, oh yeah, my computer works now. <laughs> oh, Caleb Shear? Uh, that's a possible storm target. Is Caleb still streaming? I like I haven't seen Caleb on in a while. This is, this is very tedious. Um... Double queuing shouldn't be allowed. It's funny because I used to double queue back in the day sometimes, but like, it's such a it's such a net negative for the players. Like, is Chank an archetype? I mean, I think that um, you know, I'm considering my future opponents. You know, like Aspiring Spike is a possible opponent, and Aspiring Spike. I was thinking about doing Modern Bruise as his archetype. We played three matches of Modern. My my three different different goblin decks versus he his uh, three different modern brews. He's been doing so much modern brewing lately, you know. Um, Lava runner, yeah, sure. So it could be a definitely a, like, kind of some mixing it up a little bit. We draw Mog War Marshal, but we can't cast anything. <sighs> Rakdos Carnarium. I, I do love some bounce lands and all, but these Rakdos Carnariums are killing us right now, just killing us. 
Do love me some bounce lands. Do love me some bounce lands. So we're going to take one here. All right, you got me. You got me. I'll take one. Next time we can duress and war marshal. Marshal, marshal, marshal. Red, red for a searing blaze. Rude. Rude. With four caves, two bounce lands. Maybe. I, I honestly don't know. It, I mean, it also, it's kind of like matchup-y where like we just played against literally land destruction and then the fastest possible deck. I'm sure they're very good in like slower matchups, but yeah, I was thinking about doing against uh, Seth, him playing against the odds decks, or but you know, Pan Harmonicon's a target for Seth also. So, hello, buddy, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and Chain Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Magma Jet, Skewer the Critics. So all pretty, uh, pretty similar choices here. Honestly, I'll take the uh, the, bolt, the Bolt. I think. Let's play Marshall. Say go. We're in like decent shape here. Uh, we can just find our our find our first day of school. Twisted. Re resub. Thanks so much. Lord of the Homeless. Big resub. Twenty months. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. They're gonna jet something. No. Yes. No. Of course, Knights of Spear looking a little awkward, but. They've got Jet, Mountain, Chain, Lightning, Skewer the Critics, and the card they just drew. So a solid amount of burn, but challenge Reed Duke. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I am uh, issuing my challenge. I'll issue my challenge after round four today. Issue my challenge after round four. They're just not going to attack or do anything. Sure. I don't think echoing there is crazy, but Bloodfell Caves. We're gaining life. Sweet. Uh, all right. I mean, like, we could matron for Putrid Goblin, I guess. The problem is, like, the bolt just breaks up the combo anyway. <laughs> I guess not. I just, need, I just need to play Putrid Goblin after first day of school. Um, so they have Jet, Chain Lightning, Skewer... I can't whisper and unearth. All right, Cheryl's matron here. Get putrid goblin, I think. Play bloodfell caves and gain a life. Let's go. Gain some life. What do you got for me? A little Magma Jet action? It's a common now. It's common. You see some of these cards are obviously uncommons, but they were printed at common in some set. Typically, the uh, the Master's Edition sets have interesting commons, which uh, allow for Popper to be a, an interesting format, changing things around. We're at 15. They scry bottom, top. Blood fell caves. Gain in life. Rift Bolt, sure. Trying to make up for our nice whisper, you know? So now they have a Rift Bolt in exile, sure. And just tap, untap. This is, about, this is the most ponderous burn player I've ever seen in my entire life. Tap, untap. Tap, untap. Chain Lightning, yeah. I get it. Or 12. Do they have his land in their hand or no? Am I, I do, I'd rest on turn... It's turn three. He's holding the mountain. It's kind of weird. All right, draw. Oh, man. We got to whisper. All right, hold on to your butts, folks. We're going to shock ourselves. A Guanar Putrid Goblin. We just cannot draw the card first day of class. I don't, I don't understand. We just can't do it. Uh... I mean, there's no goblin that like cycles or anything, so you can't like rebuy matron to draw more cards. Uh, I 
like we could unearth Marshall, I guess, or something. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what our our path here is. Playing a Guanar is like okay, I guess. All right, I'll just play this and say go. They have three guards in hand. One's a skewer. We're ten. They have fire blast. We're dead. Uh, should have been goblin tribal instant. Yes, definitely, definitely. Goblins do love to learn. They love going to school. They love it. Just another Mog Monday. All right, Rift Bolt. Figure out where this one's gonna go. All right, it's going to the face, sure. Skewer the critics, me. Skewer the critics, me. And Fire Blast again. All right, you win. All right, well. Nice slow playing, slow rolling burn player to get our league going here. Um, we're having a lot of trouble finding this card. It's almost like we didn't put it in our deck. Um, we just can't draw it. If we had that game, we won. Probably. Maybe not. I mean, it, it would have been interesting. If they had Fire Blast, they could, like, in theory, use the Fire Blast defensively and never tap, they can't tap out, tap out for it. But uh, rough rough start here. Rough start. And now, um, the player who played this in the challenge did come in third place. But the Goblins do not want to go to school today. Goblins, it's Monday, and they're like, you know what? We were kind of thinking about it, and we kind of want a three-day weekend. Uh, we kind of want to, uh, kind of want to, you know, like not go to school. And we thought that'd be really, really cool if we could not go to school. And yeah, you get the idea. You get the idea. Did I tell them there are shiny things at school? No, we should do that actually. There's lots of shiny stuff. There's lunch at school. There's lunch. Uh, today's, today's senior skip day. That's pretty, funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, like, we have the four whispers and the three lootings to try and find our first day of class, you know. It's funny, we've drawn multiple copies of other cards. We just can't seem to find the uh, the first day of class. What's up, Lord Dragon? It's chilly in the house. Our thermostat's broken. Our like, downstairs thermostat. I can't, can't get it to work. It's like the nest, and it's like the it's saying that the power wires are hooked up for some reason, and I don't know why. I can't figure out how to fix it. We gotta get an electrician over here. It hasn't been that bad because it's like nice out, but all right. Just another mod Monday. Should I issue a challenge now? We got a little wait here. Who wants to hear who our challenge, who I'm challenging for uh, for mod Monday showdown next week? Who wants to hear it? Raise your hand in chat. Mog Monday Showdown. Mog Monday Showdown. Challenging. Challenging. Ah, oh, sorry. There's a match. Y'all gotta wait. Y'all gotta wait. All right. Next round. Another one. <laughs> oh, man. We also can't draw, like, a, a good mixture of lances and spells. Um, we're on the draw. We've actually drawn first day of class. I'm just gonna freaking keep. I'm tilt keeping. Forest, Elvish Mystic. Okay. Land. Bingo. All, right. All right. We're gonna play uh, a prospector. Let's see where this takes us. We have Mogwar Marshall and first day of class again, which is kind of cool. The problem is we need uh, to cycle this for mana. Finhorn Elves, sure. Sentinel, sure. Alright, so they're not killing my lands or my creatures this game. This should be okay for us. I think we can do this one. I think we can do this one, folks. Swamp, too. We've got him next turn, I think, right? Well, we have... The problem here is that we have um, the ability to make infinite mana next turn. But we don't have anything to do with it. And they have blockers, so Mog Raiders not necessarily lethal. We would need more attackers than they have blockers. Um, play Marshall. I guess we have Whisper too, so... 
I don't have enough black. Oh, I guess the Baron to make black. Okay. So let's just go for Marshall here. We'll, we'll try and go off next turn. So we can upkeep, uh, sack the Marshall again, cast first day of class, play future Goblin, and go from there. That was a fast tap. What are they up to over there? I don't know what's in Pauper Elves. I don't know what's in Pauper anything, honestly. Timberwatch Elf. Oh, man. It's an Onslaught Showdown. Sparksmith versus Timberwatch Elf. Where are my boomers in chat? Where are my boomers at? All right. Let's go. Sack for red. Make a token. Uh, no echo. And we're going to tap a mana and play first day of class. And I think we're going to rummage... No, we're gonna we're gonna learn this time because we we, we have a, we're gonna have infinite mana and this can this can find a thing. So learn and draw for turn. All right, well now they're dead. That's lethal. All right, sweet, we win, we did it. Bingo. All right. Future goblin. Trigger. Always yield. Sack for red. Always yield. A one red. A two red. A three red. A four red. Because back in school. Here's an iguanar. You're dead. We did it. We did it. Game. Turn three kill. Blouses. We did it. We did it. I'm not going to concede. Why not cast it before Toka resolves? Sure. I mean, I guess technically you should do that. that that's correct. If they're going to make me click it, I'm just going to keep doing stuff then. Let's play Introduction to Prophecy. Have a little fun here. Bottom. Bottom. Bushwhacker. Sack for red. Play this. Whack ya. Sack for red. Sack for red. They're really going to make me do this? It's an infinite loop, my friend. Sack for red. Sack for red. Pretty hard, pretty hard to screw up too, honestly. Uh, nothing to really click, you know? I guess I could like sack the prospector by accident. Finish him off. Finish him off. Uh, poor Gunzi, I do not. I do not like small card. I've talked about it in a lot of videos. I think the card is just too hard to defend. It doesn't do enough. I wanna. I wanna rock it. I wanna play bomb bombs. I don't wanna play a card that like is like finicky and doesn't really do a ton. If they wanna keep playing. I'm gonna attack them. I'm gonna attack them. I ain't putting them to zero. I'm putting them in negative sixteen. Bring in Trickeries. Bring in Sparksmith. Um, so they're not going to have much interaction. There's like a an elf deck or whatever. Um, maybe we shave... Coco says, Round 1, Land Destruction. Round 2, Slow Roll, Double Q, Burn Deck. Round 3, Make You Play Out the On The Board Combo. Popper seems fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are you going to do, you know? We are on the draw. Um, let's shave an Iguanar and shave like... A lot of cards to bring in, honestly. New sub, Bean. What's up, Bean? Let's go, my friend. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Shave Bushwhacker because we're never attacking them, probably. Um, let me shave like a Matron. It's kind of slow. 
And yeah, Knight's Whisper. A lot of self damage at Sparksmith too, so I wish he had two of these actually. Just leave it a matron. Sparksmith's quite good. It's quite good. Excuse me. One lander again, but it is a really good one lander. Um, a lot of action. A lot of action. It's tap land, though. Point ball against a six. Yeah, it's just building it, I think. Point sides in Stone Rain. Yeah, right. Oh my god, what is going on? Ugh. Put them all against the five. All right. Well, we're going to join them. Sure, that's pretty good. All right, we'll keep this. And we're going to dump the... The... Ash Barons. And the looting, probably. She got the old electric reset up. Yeah, looting. I guess we're on the... Put them all get to four. Okay, I guess. Sure. I guess I kind of want to have Electric Re on turn two, but... Who likes Popper? Raise your hand in chat. People are always saying, play Popper, Jim. You'll have fun, Jim. Play Popper. Seems all right. I don't know. It's kind of a weird format. It's like oddly powerful, but not, uh, not like... It's weird. I don't know. Relic or Tormod script? That's possible. Legacy Light? It is kind of like... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It really is a very powerful format, which is weird because it's all commons, but the decks can do some... Like, we just we just turned three combo killed, you know? We, our, our, the, the Stone Rain deck just seems freaking awesome, like that Ponza deck. Like... Like, I bet you if you played an entire league of that Ponza deck um, in Modern... You'd probably go like one four or two or two three, like that's how powerful it seems, and like it just like it have good enough draws where you just win some games. Korean Rangers, sure. I mean, their hands like so bad that like electric isn't even good. <laughs> Hissing at one R. Uh, you can like leave up electricery. Or cycle on Earth. Man, what a hand. Uh, all right, we'll cycle this. First, we did first day of class. We never do that. We did the thing. Swamp. Let's play a Guanar. What an awkward, like, hand. Like, they just... We have, like, kind of reactionary hand. They're just, like, not doing anything. Um, playing a Guanar is, like, not great. I want, I want to play Carnarium and get that going. Um, very weird hand. Very weird hand. Lush Vanguard. All right, so now we just now we just like to just trickery and blow them out. All right, that sounds great. Play land, sure. So they're just like they just like mulligan to an absolutely heinous hand. Uh, oh my god, they're just dead. Target you. Uh, oops. Yes. Yes. Pew pew! Alright, and then we could, we could just like finish off this one too. Is that even worth doing? So we just need any sack outlet now? I'm gonna hold this. Those are time shifted? No. Just a kind of a cool card. It was part of the like Jund in Shards of Alara. Jund was all about things dying and stuff, so. Decent draft card. Decent draft card. 
What's up, Island? How's it going, my friend? Oh, uh, yeah, the inside event didn't go great. We dropped in, like, round two or three, I think. Sack outlet? No. I mean... Okay. I mean, you can just, like... We can just, like, first day of class, just, like, learn and just, like, play a value first day of class kind of thing. All right, we're just gonna play this. I mean, I don't think we can lose, so... James, awesome. Yeah, so those who don't know... what the, What's the date again, James? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, leave a stampede. That was a good draw. Um, I'll be doing some casting. Some casting. That's why I'll be in the booth a couple times this, this month, actually. And I'll be joining Charizard James in the booth for the Stream League tournament brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. They only got one. <laughs> and then I'll also be joining uh, Jeff Hogan for Hoaglandia Open. May 2nd, 11 a.m., Stream League. Should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, so we get to untap here. And then uh, draw a Goblin Matron. That'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna, gonna discard a card. Draw a prospector. All right, cool. Yeah, now we're super dead. Super dead. You lose. So you get nothing. They make us do it again too. Good day, sir. No, they're gonna scoot this time. All right, one and two. You have won. We won our match. We 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 didn't play against land destruction or burn, and we got it. We got it. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, it's infinite. It's infinite. If you're sitting and welcome to the stream, persist combo. Future Goblin and first day class and any sack outlet. Any sack outlet. This is the deck that came in third at the in the uh, in the uh, popper challenge last weekend. And let's go. Let's go. Alright, folks, we're also brought to you by Insight Esports. Insight Esports, new org as of this year. They are running some phenomenal tournaments. Uh, there they are, Inside Esports on Melee. Check them out. We played their 5K last weekend. And they have another five, another, they have a 3K coming up this Saturday. Double elimination, $15 entry until the day of. Uh, you got to play these events. They're awesome. They're awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, really, really fun events. Great prize pools. They queue for an Invitational, which is awesome. Uh, just a lot of fun. Really, really good events. I've been playing these. Watch me stream it or play it yourself. Check it out, Inside Esports. Uh, they're great. Oh, that was close. Woo, that was close. Let's go. Mardu Scout. On the play. Well, we found first day class. Um, Somebody's playing a prank on me. Yeah. Mardu, Rakdos Carnary was playing a prank on me these days. I don't know. Come on. What is going on with this deck? All right. Uh, yeah, sure. We can keep this. So keep this. I'm going to get rid of looting again because we mulligan to five for the hundredth time and probably unearth, I guess. Yeah, because we just, the, the card disadvantage of looting is just too bad when you mulligan to five. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, this time I played Jun Persist Combo Goblin with a Dirty Kitty. Um, it's been a little bit. The Dirty Kitty deck is just, like, not good, unfortunately. I keep trying, but it's, like, pretty bad. And then, um... I haven't played Modern Persist Combo in a while, in, uh... In a bit. Super Combo Goblins. And that Elves again? Oh, let's go. Let's go, Elves. Pilfer. Carnarium. We're gaining... Look at this combo. Look at this freaking... Is this a, is this a Splinter Twin situation here? Huh? Carnarium Bloodfell Caves. You should keep gaining life over and over and over. Savage Swipe to kill my 1-1 one -one and give me a treasure. Sure. That sounds great. Why wouldn't they attack first and then do it post-combat to untap it? Oh, they have... Oh, this is like a Stompy deck. That's that's pretty aggro. All right. Uh, first day of class. Okay. Now we just need a Sack Outlet. All right, sweet. Let's uh, whisper and just hope we don't hope we don't die next turn. That is not anything we needed, but sure. I guess the the matron helps. Bouncing gain lands. Let me get stompied out here. Hunger of the Howl Pack. 
Aquarian Ranger, sure. What's this? A ranger caught off his guard? 49 months. Seems like forever oh, since I was bothering you on the floors of that CG Open in NC. What's up, Zeriak? 49 months is a long time, my friend. Thanks for resubbing. I appreciate that. Um, no, we're still short here, actually. We're still short. Because we have, uh, we can't do everything. We can't, first day of class, and Goblin, and Prospector. We're one mana short. I think it just Matron and Prey for a turn. We might just die. Uh, one mana short here. One mana short. I can rummage for a land. That is true. Um, Alright, yeah, I, I have a to go for it. Because if we play Matron as a blocker here, and they have any, any fight spell or whatever, we just die on the spot. So, I have two cards in hand still. I'll just go for it. I'll just do it. Let's do it! Alright, hold on to your butts, folks. We draw on Earth, too, actually. So, we can draw... We're, now, we're, we're drawing... We're first day of classing to rummage. We can draw any untapped land or unearth. Or a pilferer. That would also do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Hopefully I don't have a, uh, an instant speed fight. Let's go! Cast Putrid first, sack for mana, use it at first day class? No, because it, would, it wouldn't persist then. You need an unpersisted uh, Putrid thing to go off. Full combo achieved. They're going to make us do it too? Pretty easy combo, honestly. Nope. Okay. Bring on the <laughs> non-interactive decks. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Cast Putrid first. Sack for mana with trigger on stack. Cast it. First day of class response to persist trigger. I think you're right, actually. So if I go Putrid Goblin... Prospector, sack for red, trigger on the stack. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's hear it for your chat being right about something for the first time ever in life. Totally right. So I actually had the kill there. I, I screwed up. Me? Screw up? No. Good catch, cat. Good good catch. That's a good one. Is that how weird this card's an instant? It doesn't feel like an instant. Totally correct. Chat's right. I know. Somebody call the police. Uh, chat's right. All right, so um, Sparksmith, maybe? Or the draw? I don't know what they're doing, honestly. I don't think they're interacting that much. Putrid Goblin. I feel like we can, like, ship an Iguana or bring a Sparksmith in. Just try this. I'm not really sure, honestly. No, chat can't retire, because then I won't have a, a, a job anymore. Uh, I need chat, unfortunately. <laughs> much as I hate to say it, I need chat. Young Wolf. Young Wheezy. Looting? I'm play Pull for her. Got a cute card, honestly. Pretty fun. Um, we block for mana here. What can we do with two mana next turn? Play Sparksmith. They can have like fight cards though. It's pretty crappy card to go all in on. And then we get a 2 2. Yeah, I guess it's not going to block. Take one. Skargan Pit Skull, something like that. Oh, I called it. Look at me. Look at me calling out the weird popper comments. God. Big brain. I know my old crappy cards. I've been by, I've been by Magic for a long time. I know what's up. I know what's up, Skargan Pit Skulk. 
Could have got Sparksmith, though. All right, we're going to looting here. We need some help. Hand's not great. Well, Marsha's good. Discarding a looting and one of these redundant slider effects. Play Carnarium. Bounce this. Might block this turn. Set up for next turn. We're not first day of school yet. We don't have much lit, honestly. All right, make a block. We do have a a, a marshal and a sledder. Querying ranger, sure. We get spark breath. Just like we're taking a lot of damage next turn, so like, what is this? What is this? Green, green in the pool. Bayou Groff. That's a bad dog. That's a bad dog. All right. Well, Sparksmith's kind of like not really worth much anymore, I don't think. So let's um, let's just play Slider and Marshall and try and stay alive for the moment. Plant dog. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand how that works either. But I can play Marshall Sparksmith. Even though we're like kind of dying. Yeah, pretty, pretty fast draw. We don't have like either combo piece right now, which is pretty tough. Definitely a Marshall. Um, Marshall Sledder. Marshall Sledder makes some pretty good blocks too, honestly, let's pump spell. Let's play Sparksmith. Here come the clowns. Rangers coming in too. All right. I think we're like probably dead here. Pretty aggro start from our opponent, but it's okay. It's okay. No, we're going to take some damage here. All right. We got a 10. Make a token. They have three cards in hand. What do they got left? Another Nettle Sentinel? Sure. And a Vault Scourge? Okay, sure. Uh, Alright, so... Night Whisper is killing me. It's killing me! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna shoot... Uh, this, I guess. Take two. I mean, I don't even know what we're drawing to here. Oh my god, Bloodfell Caves. What are you doing? You're gaining life, that's what you're doing. Alright, let's go. I'm sure we're gaining life. Jump block the Bayou Groff. It's probably past the point we can even use Slider. So let's actually, I mean, let's, let's like block like here and here. We're going to stack both things to our Slider. We can't use Sparks with anymore anyways, so. I think we're pretty dead, honestly. I think we're just pretty dead here. I don't know. We, we, we need to draw like first day of school and loot into a, uh, and rummage into a, a future goblin. That's an impulsive pilfer. At two life points. And in the end. Jofu, guest streamer. No, that's, that's the first Monday every month is the Mob Monday Showdown. I'll be issuing my challenge for that uh, after this match. Yes, after this match. Uh. Blocker, 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 blocker. I guess we're like still alive, technically. Um, play Bloodfell Caves and just like jump along with everything. So you're telling me there's a chance, even though there isn't really a chance. Play Caves and Whisper. We just like can't draw anything. Like there's nothing we can do with two mana at that point then. We getting stomped on. We getting stomped on here. Oh, I wish I shouldn't have six actually. All right. A gut shot. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. All right. All right, now we're on the play. Uh, that third Sparksman's coming in, I think. Um... Shiva Knight's Whisper. It's pretty damaging. I think on the play, we're in, like, much better shape here, so. All right, we got Land, Pilfer, Sledder, Honor. This is fine. We can keep this. They always get the gush shot. Ross, is your damn computer fixed yet? Now that Faithless Hoodie's been printed. In Historic. Pretty convenient time for your computer to get fixed. Mr. Ross, I don't want to stream, so I lie and say my computer's broken. Called out! Nerd! Alright, uh, let's pilfer. Let's pilfer. When you woke up, you actually thought your second computer was broken? What? Two computers. Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Um, hmm. I don't want to wait for Marshall until we have us uh, get this sledder in play. So, get it for two. Whatever. No blocks. No blocks. Play land. Burning tree emissary is a common... Uh, okay, I guess. Nest Invader? Okay. Putrid Goblin. Alright. Uh, sure. I mean, like, can we just beat them by blocking? Like, Slider or Marshall is, like, a pretty good blocking force. Probably had a GP with those two cards flump and do some blocking duty. Alright, uh, sure. an 01 scion sure all right so, i mean we're gonna make some blocks and try and just kill their stuff i guess put this like here we're gonna sack the marshal put this here put this here um, yeah sack this one here just like doesn't really work i could sack both tokens i guess and pump both of these and try and trade a lot of the board off i have unearth too so Sure. Target this with this. I guess I, I should have left the, the Sentinel, not the Nest Ambusher, probably, but whatever. What kind of tricks you got for me? Nothing? We should making trades? All right, sweet. I'll trade all day. I'll trade all day. I only have one black store, which is kind of annoying. Pit Skulk, sure. It's a 1-1 one, one Pit Skulk. Oh, never mind, it's bigger. Uh, okay. Creatures of Power, less than this can't block it. That's a, that's a, okay, that's really, really big. Uh, sure. Ash Barons. Well then, um, that's scary. That's a scary, uh, scary Skulker. All right. Well, we need to draw some uh, some combo-y cards, you know. Cast on Earth on the Mog War Marshal. We need to draw first day of school. And we win, basically. Let's uh, let's say go. First day of school. Want to buy one first day of school, please? Yeah, take seven. All right, here we go. First day of school. I'm feeling it. Let me echo here. Huh. Nope. I mean, like, we can kind of just attack them for a lot. It's not particularly, like, amazing, but we can do it. Um... First day of class, whatever. Now I mean. Like they're 20? 
dealing 20 is like pretty tough over th over three turns, but or two attack steps. I mean, I mean, by doing damage though, now we can draw hissing, hissing iguana and kill him that way too. My little trade, yeah, sure. All right, I mean, I guess you're up. Coming in for seven. So we draw Hissing Iguana, are they dead? It's a lot of damage, it's like a lot. Every sack is two or two. So we need first day of school, Hissing Iguana, looting, Knight's, Knight's Whisper. Come on now, help me out. I need your energy, folks. Make a little noise here, huh? Ugh. Come on, I, I mean, I guess I could use all of my stuff and pump up a creature to block the Pit Skulk, which is kind of preposterous, but. Uh, what if there's. So, uh, Exile's card from your graveyard. For each opponent create a token copy that attacks that opponent this turn if able. And they gain haste and sacrifice something next to us. I mean, it doesn't even do anything. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we're not dead. Unless they can pump, they can pump this thing more. So we'll just say go. And we're going to make a really big future goblin to block this pit skulk. Just going to require basically all of our resources. trying we're trying folks i'm trying my best here on mob monday it's not easy it's not easy being green waka, waka. all right two guards in hand two guards in hand gotta save that one for frog monday frog monday looking forward to next april fools We'll do Fog Monday or Dog Monday, something else. What's up, Tiny? Challenge Professor, some some popper on Mog Monday. Possible target for a Mog Monday showdown. Looks like I'll be announcing my Mog Monday showdown challenge after this match. Bayou Groff, okay. They might actually not attack here, honestly. Oh my God, we got time. We got time. On Earth. I mean, that's like fine. It's just more tokens. We could cycle it and try and draw a win condition, but like we can actually just kind of chill now, honestly. We got time to kill. And we draw a Guanar, they're dead too. So, all right, we 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 have we have, we're drawing to Knight's Whisper, looting a Guanar, first day of class. Um, we're drawing a cards. We're drawing a cards. Log Monday, Log Monday. We have the next like six April Fool's days all all lined up. It's gonna be great. But now they're gonna attack. They drew a pump spell. Crap. Uh. Okay. Well. What else can I do, right? Sack this. Sack this. Sack this. It's resolving really fast. Nope, stop resolving fast. All right. Move blocks. They allow me to block. Um, attempt to save my honk and chonker. Should I save this? I'll probably save this too, right? All right. Is that just like their attack? That's the best they can do? Vault Scourge? Sure. 
Goblin Slider for freaking days here, right? Goblin Slider, am I right? Goblin Matron. Um, I probably bought at the Bushwhacker. I did not, actually. That doesn't do anything, though. Wait, Bushwhacker, attack. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's like not really good enough. Um, merge casting, all right? So, Sparksmith. We're at four, so Sparksmith's not really gonna gonna play. There was a downside there, you know. I mean, the backup blocker for this. You just get a you get a war marshal, honestly. I can get War Marshal and just start attacking, I think. Goblin Slider Mog War Marshal is just freaking good, you know? What do we got here? Sparksmith, Prospector, Putrid Goblin, War Marshal. Yeah, we're just getting freaking Mog War Marshal. Just like infinite awesome attacks. Just ship the attack. Let's just go. Let's just go. What are they going to do? What are they going to do to us? They can't, they can't beat our plan B. The B is for beatdown. <laughs> Yog Monday? Sure. Um, and Marshall's blocking this. This is fine. No pumps. So there you go. We have a Pulse of Pilfer here ready to go too. Ready for an Encore. If only they had Predator Strike in their deck, you know? And they might win this game. They might just be dead now. Um, another blocker? Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, we're going to Echo. All of our, our draws don't require much of mana, so. Big draw. Another Matron. All right, this gets the Bushwhacker, and then we kill them. Here we go. Let's go. We're doing it. I want to do the math. No math. It's not a math stream. Who wants to see it? Who's ready? Who's ready? Save a line, Jim. Save a line. <laughs> gotta be lethal it's gotta be lethal oh okay. who eats a combo two and two two and two if you're doing a welcome to stream mog monday pauper first day class combo you ready folks for our uh my challenge here read duke I challenge you and your Boomer Jun decks to matches in Historic, Modern, and Legacy. Goblins versus Boomer Jund. Read Duke. Do you accept? Do you accept, Reed? I'm coming for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta get my, my, my buttons set up right. I'm coming for you, Reed Duke. Boomer Jund. Boomer Reed. Uh, I'm going to draw. We can keep this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Bring it on. Mountain Go. Oh, no, don't be burn again, please. Please don't lightning bolt me on step. Oh, thank God. What a bully. We're gonna get bullied here by majoring bully. All right. All right. I guess we're gonna cast Knights of Spirit, which really sucks. <laughs> not, not the kind, not the two drop you want to have against majoring bully, I guess. But sure. Need to draw some lands. Now I can discard to uh, to hand size and get unearth going here too. All right. Oh boy. What's a more powerful format, popper or historic? Probably historic. I don't know. I mean, like. Some popper decks, like the popper LD deck, feels like it would just beat a lot of decks. Blood crazed Neonite. Attacks each combat if able. Every deals damage to a player, put a counter on it. What in the world is going on? We, we can't draw uh, a, a red source, but we also have Mod War Marshal. So. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.
Red, red, red pillage. What, who, who are you people? Block. This seems to back to this Carnarium. Come on. <laughs> Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why is Bogwan Marshal so good, though? Pillage is a common now, too. Block. Must attack tribal. Alright. You should draw a Mountaineer, please. Flame Slash. Like, if we draw... We should, we should win this game. They only have two cards left. Like... Oh, come on. Discard. Does the Major retap everything? Come on. I hate Jace. Yeah, this is the uh, the common that bullied Jace turned Jace into a Planeswalker. Hashtag lore. I'm not even having a block here. They just have five mana. They're not, they're not burned out. They're like an LD deck, so... What is this? 5-3 Trample. When it enters the battle, they become the Monarch. I mean, now I can become the Monarch? Come on! Somebody's playing a prank on me. Well... What is this? Ah, uh, whatever. All right, you win. All right, fine. We drew two swamps this game, and we're still we were still in the game. Fine. All right. So, um, what what the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? I don't even know what they're doing. Um, I'm just gonna not sideboard. Just gonna let it ride. Oh boy. When was I in that game? If we drew a mountain. Uh, on either of those past two turns, you're definitely in that game. Like, definitely in that game. Alright, that was great. We had tokens in play. Prospector. I'm just keeping. I'm just... Uh, we have looting. I'm gonna keep. Draw Lamb's hands insane, so... It's my world, Ross. Alright? We were in that game. We were in that game. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Land? Okay. I'm gonna play the old Spark Dog. The old Sparky here. I get Sparky gone. In the multiverse theory, I won last game. Nerd! Prismari Pledge Mage? That's a cool card. It's dead. Sparksmith all day. Burning Prophet. This is like the the two drop. Pro they played like five different two drops. Um, all right. We are going to. We need the persist thingy or a mate or something like that. All right, what's the looting? All right, that's it. I mean, it's not often we're flooded on first day of class. We're gonna discard first day of class. Are they pillaged by Carnarium though? God, why is everyone? Why are you playing Bounce Lands when everyone's playing LD? It just doesn't seem like it's a good idea, you know. Just saying. Just saying. All right, we'll shut the Marshall too, I guess. Carnarium Prospector, go. All right, we're going to shoot this. We're going to let them bolt us because I want to keep Prospector safe. I think it's more important. So, all right, they don't have any way, so sure. Play this. All right. Don't pillage me. Just, like, play your stupid Monarch card or whatever. No! Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
Okay. All right. Swamp for the win. All right. Uh, we like we like looting here. We can matron. I guess we just matron. If they have like electric, you're in big doo doo. In response, I am sad. Tron's the best popper deck? With the amount of stone rings we've played against, and I can't believe that. I cannot believe that statement. I don't play popper at all. I don't know I don't know anything. Alright, but we've played against stone rain decks three times in this league. Uh alright, we're gonna get our putrid goblin. And uh just gotta draw black, folks. Sure. Ah, that'll do it. That'll do. That'll do. All right, so we need to stack a goblin. I guess they could, like, break it up with lightning bolt, right? That's true. Let's just attack first. I guess things have haste. That was stupid. Whatever. All right. Stack for red. First day of class. Keep that. Sack for red. Cycle. Swap. We're all in, folks. All right, we got uh, we got work to do. We have a looting in the graveyard and a prophecy to find our our combo. Here we go. We have put a Lannister turn, so prophecy. Prospector or matron. Um I already attacked like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to play around removal spells. Ugh. No! Alright, sure, it's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. We're gonna win anyway. It's totally fine. Um we just bottom both, I guess. Skirk Sergeant? Nope. Not playing that one. Uh yeah, so we we obviously shouldn't have attacked first. I just I was thinking about like playing against removal, because they have two cards in hand, they have a bolt or whatever, they can kind of break us up, so everybody's trying to get the damage in now. But um we can matron yeah, like oh man. Chain matrons and get black mana for whisper. How would I do that? Oh boy. Um. Okay. 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 We can fix this. The treasure guy. Right. Right. Okay. So we're gonna keep that matron. Bottom this. Top this. Make a whole bunch of mana. Whole bunch of mana. Then we're gonna matron for treasure guy. And uh, I guess I'll major for major for major for treasure guy. And um, make black, cast Night's Whisper. We have a looting too. We have a lot of looks. Uh, we have a lot of looks. Man, attacking versus is so bad. I was just trying to play around removal. You know, I'm just trying to look for the. I'm a glass. You know, we were, it was a glass half empty kind of play. Oh, wait, but oh, we, have, we have everything lethal, obviously. All right, so whatever. Cast Matron. Uh, do the thing. We're going to go get ourselves another Matron. Let's pull our Matrons out. We also have a bunch of Tutus in play also. So realistically, like, they there aren't really power classes in the format. So we're going to win next turn anyway, probably. I'm just going about it like a really roundabout way. Uh, matron. All right, sack that. Fiery candidates a common? Why are these cards commons? What what was all these cards cards commons? Alright, so uh Alright, let's play Pilfer. Sack this. Commander Legends. Why gotta be like this, Commander Legends? Nice Whisper, let's go. Draw looting and Ash Barons. Alright, cool. 
So that's a lot. That's a lot of lux looting. Put a Lamis turn right. Yeah, I believe so. First day of class. I mean, Marshall's like doesn't really do much, I guess. But better than these cards. I guess, I guess it's loots, right? Uh, so let's ship these two. And let's first day of class to rummage. Oh, I, I already cards. I'm so stupid. Oh, that was actually really bad too. Okay, well I'm dumb. Uh, obviously I uh, you can't rummage with no cards in your hand, so now I can't even. Uh, I whatever. I'm gonna win next turn anyway. It's fine. I think it's a three three. Say go. Look. All right. I I can't handle the pressure. The flame attic in front of all these people. It's hard. All right. Crimson, sure. We're still going to win this game easily. So, easily. Easily. Monarch, whatever. Attack you with a million things. Mog Raider, sure. Uh, kill ya. Kill ya. Alright, so... Uh, two, two... Yeah, sure, whatever. We have we're, we're the Monarch, too, here. They do have a Pirate. They could, they could have Cannonade. Can I be really good, actually? Block this, sure. Look at me. I'm the monarch now. Draw, mountain, sure. I mean, now Canada doesn't win anyway, so we have the Raiders. So, so yeah, look, who won the game, huh? Game. Huh? I didn't see you in the game. Blouses. I didn't see you in the game, chat. I won the game, me, myself. I did that. It wasn't pretty, but I won the game. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. Let's turn it back, I guess. Sparksmith seems kind of kind of sus on a draw, honestly, but I guess it's fine. It's kind of a cute card, reaping the graves, but play bad, win anyway. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. I mean, we have on Earth. We can like, probably keep this hand. Honestly. Duress? Yeah, Duress seems alright. Alright, here we go. Carnarium. Okay, let's go. Loot me. Marshall and lands. Um, I would say we just pitch the Carnarium against the, uh, the Pillage deck. And then we just cast Marshall next turn, so... So, so, there you go. They play some rando prowess two drop. We play Marshall. Hopefully, they'll play that stupid vampire again. That card is terrible. Oh, that's not the one. All right, future goblin is here. Sweet. Just got a Marshall here. She had a first day of school and a sack outlet. Just, just those two things. Nothing really more than that. Stone rain, sure. Protecting our black source, blocking this thing. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Ugh. Carnarium, no, we're not playing you. We can't play you against the Stone Rain deck. Allergies. Um, okay, this card, Carnarium. And... I mean, Matron gets to sack out it, I guess. Yeah, sure. Scar Matron, because we have the, the Unearth. Play Caves. Attack. So now we should first day of school. Pillage again. All right. Yeah, sure. I get it. Scry went bottom. Last card, last try also on bottom too. Those who are wondering. Ash Barons, sure. All right, I mean like, not great, but fine. Could be worse. 
All right, yeah, sure. Killing the red, sure. They have three cards in hand. We could just like kill them. That's not like, you know, out of the question. Like I can unearth a war marshal here. We should try and go wide. Um, could also unearth a bushwhacker. I'm sorry, unearth, unearth Maestro and get, get Bushwhacker and try, try to win that way. Uh, let's jam. And, le and leave up Ash Barons for red. I kind of like that, honestly. There are 12. Matron. Could get a raider or a slutter, I mean, or whatever, to, to to play around um to play around a pyroclasm effect or like electricery. Maybe that's better. And the next turn we have a guanar. We can just like play the guanar, attack with everything, and kill them. They have three cards in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. That seems that seems a lot safer. Burning Prophet. If they kill my land, I mean, whatever, you know. Play your Monarch. Aftershock? Short target artifacts, creature, or land. Take three damage. Uh, okay. Sure. My Goblin Slider is dead. Dead to the world. Putrid Goblin. Uh, I mean, I really hate, like, actually playing Ash Barons, because, like, it makes us very vulnerable to LD. We can just, like, play the Iguana and attack here, right? Let's just do it. Let's just go all in. Whatever. Let's just go! So, take a bunch. Plan B? Plan B, is there blood in the water? Pledge Mage? I mean, that's like kind, of a, kind of a honk and chonker, but... Let's draw any sack outlet. Prospector, Sledder. They're attacking? That's bold. What does that mean? That's a scary attack. I don't like that at all. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I don't like it. Did you cannonade? You sick bastard. They got a one though, right? Uh, okay. So, oh, never mind. It's two. So it doesn't count itself. Sure. There are two. Um, bring that back. First day of class. Where have you been all my life? Huh? Where have you been all my life? They have one card in hand and they're at two life. I've cast one on Earth. I think that I want to flashback looting and try and find an unearth. So I can go first day of class unearth and kill them out of nowhere. Neither of those cards are unearth. Uh, I'm going to discard both of these cards and keep first day of class and future goblin. There's no tar fire in my deck, unfortunately, no. That would be super sweet. All right, I mean, there are two. Oh God! Keeper Mulligan on the 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 uh, the, mo the monarch mechanic. What do y'all think of that mechanic? Skirk Prospector. Holy nope, not there. Close, close. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes, yes. We are there. No, that's that's that, that's infinite mana, but it doesn't actually do anything for us. Um, so you can go Putra Goblin, 
Prospector, Sack Goblin, Trigger of a Stack, Sack Goblin, First Day of Class. We have infinite mana, but they don't have anything to do with it. I guess we have like the the card we learn for, and then looting's in the graveyard. And we're just trying to find any other attacker. Oh, let's just do it. Let's just freaking do it. It's Mod Monday. We'll just do it. All right, so... Uh, Putrid Goblin. They could have a bolt here and screw us up, too. They're going to keep priority? You bastard. Prospector. Sack for red. Oh, I gotta turn off my auto yield. Sack for red. Trigger of a stack. First day of class. Learn. Now we can auto yield this. Alright. I mean, we got looks. We have looks, folks. Now, honestly, all we need to draw is like a Mogwar Marshal or a Matron, and we just attack and kill them. Because they are at two, so. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! Prophecy time. Prophecy says Carnarium Night's Whisper. Uh, th those don't work for me. Those don't work for me. So bottom, bottom, draw a matron. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> Bingo! All right. Give me another matron. Make some more mana. Oh, gay blouses. We did it. We did it. Three and two. I mean, that's super cool. Um, it's pretty cool that I could also like just win, you know, normal games of Magic or whatever. Um, you know, we definitely had a number of games we just like had Mogwar Marshals and Goblin Sliders and just like and just played. So all your prediction, folks. We had a lot of believers today, and I appreciate that very, very much. A lot of believers. Yeah, we had a winning record on Mog Monday. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we have a winning record on Mog Monday, right? All right. YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Next week, me, Reed Duke, Goblins, Jund. That's the promo. That's all we get. <laughs> Next Monday, Mog Monday Showdown, first Monday of the month. YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe.